Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a certain type of cyber attack known as a zero day attack. Now, this term has been floating around the internet and you see many companies announcing they have found a zero day attack, exploit or vulnerability. At the same time, this term has been used to measure the effectiveness of an antivirus, but it's not exactly considered malware. So what exactly is this cyber attack? And what relationship does it have with antiviruses? Well, this video is going to explain what a zero day attack is, the different terms that comes with this cyber threat, and what relationship it has with antiviruses. Now, before we get into this video, I'll leave some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that are considered to be the best against zero day threats, as well as some discounts in the description down below. Okay, so first of all, there are two different types of attacks that people keep mixing up. There are zero day attacks and 14 day vulnerabilities. Both are equally dangerous, yet they differ in urgency levels. When a company releases a version of software, they have a team that keeps looking for vulnerabilities in this version of the software and running several simulations to find ways that hackers would use to exploit the software and issue a cyber attack. Now, this testing is not only done by the company, by the way. There are other independent developers who run their own tests and try to find vulnerabilities to report back to the company should they find anything. If either of these sides discovers a vulnerability that is not yet available online or spreading on websites such as GitHub, for example, they immediately report back to the company and confirm that they were the first to find such a weakness in their system. Then, the company would ask the person to keep this data confidential for 14 days as they worked on the patch to fix said vulnerabilities before anyone else could find out and exploit them. This is the 14-day vulnerability. A zero-day attack, however, means that the first person or party to discover this vulnerability is a cyber criminal who is trying to sell the exploit on the dark web, usually for a huge sum of money. And so the company developers would report this and label it as a zero-day attack meaning that they have exactly zero days to patch this before anything major happens. To understand this a bit further, let me explain the three different terms that usually comes after zero day. And these are vulnerabilities, exploits, and attacks. A zero day vulnerability is a software vulnerability discovered by attackers before the vendor becomes aware of it. Because the vendors are unaware, no patch exists for zero day vulnerabilities, making attackers likely to succeed. A zero day exploit is the method hackers use to attack systems with a previously unidentified vulnerability. A zero day attack is the use of a zero day exploit to cause damage or to steal data from a system affected by a vulnerability. Now, what exactly is the relationship between zero day attacks and antiviruses? Well, antiviruses are security software designed to detect and mitigate various types of malware and cyber threats, including known vulnerabilities and attack techniques. The connection between these two lies in the fact that antiviruses are tasked with identifying and blocking threats, including zero-day attacks. While they excel at recognizing known malware and attack patterns, they often struggle to defend against zero-day attacks since, as I mentioned earlier, these exploits leverage undisclosed vulnerabilities. Security vendors continuously work to improve their antivirus solutions by updating their threat databases and employing heuristics to identify suspicious behavior. These heuristics refers to a set of techniques or methods used to identify potentially malicious or suspicious files and behaviors based on general rules and patterns, rather than relying solely on known malware signatures. Heuristics are an important component of antivirus programs because they help in detecting new and previously unknown threats, including malware variants and zero-day attacks. However, the ever-evolving nature of zero-day attacks poses a significant challenge to the effectiveness of antivirus software in preventing such threats. That's why there are very few antiviruses out there that have a 100% score against zero-day malware attacks on popular testing websites such as avtest.com. A few examples of antiviruses that are powerful against zero-day threats include Norton 360, Total AV, and McAfee. Now, how can you protect yourself from zero-day attacks? Well, protecting yourself from zero-day attacks requires a proactive and multi-faced approach to cybersecurity. First of all, Keep your software and operating systems up to date. 
as so many zero-day vulnerabilities are fixed by vendors once they become known and applying these updates can help reduce the risk. Also, using strong and updated antivirus software with features like heuristics and behavioral analysis can help spot suspicious behavior that might suggest a zero-day attack. Other than that, practicing good online safety, such as avoiding sketchy websites and not downloading files from untrusted sources, could also help protect against such cyber threats. Lastly, educating yourself about the dangers of phishing, social engineering, and risky online behavior can prevent attackers from getting access to your systems in the first place. By combining these steps, you can significantly lower your vulnerability to zero-day attacks and improve your overall online security. And that's basically everything you need to know about zero-day attacks and the relation to antiviruses, and how to protect yourself from such a threat. If you're looking for an antivirus that is effective against zero-day threats, I'll leave some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below, along with some discounts. Also, if you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. And that will be all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.